Do we got some sad news regarding UCLA football? Um, former head coach Terry Donahue, he passed away at the age of 77 uh, yesterday on the 4th of July. Uh, so uh, Terry Donahue, who is the winningest coach in Pac-12 conference and UCLA football history, um, he ended up passing away on the 4th of July, age 77. Uh, the school said, the uh, school said he died at his home in Newport Beach, California, after a two-year struggle with cancer. Uh, he has the most wins, uh, 98, of any coach in Pac-12 history, and also most victories, 151 in UCLA history. Uh, he coached the Bruins from 1971 to 1975. He worked as an assistant under uh, Pepper Rogers and then uh, Dick Vermeil before, ta before taking over as head coach at the age of 31 and serving from 1976 to 1995. Uh, his first job out of college was an assistant to Rogers at Kansas for one season. And Donahue, this is some, these are some interesting facts in here, Nate. Donahue was the first to appear in a Rose Bowl game as a player, assistant coach, and a head coach. The Bruins won the New Year's Day game in 1983, 1984, and 1986 during his coaching tenure. He was the first college coach to earn Pro Bowl game victories in seven consecutive seasons from 1983 to 1989. So those are some interesting facts right there. Uh, he was born in Los Angeles, um, and he graduated from Notre Dame High in Sherman Oaks, California, before going to UCLA. He joined the football team as a walk-on defensive lineman in 1965. He helped lead the Bruins to their first ever Rose Bowl win in 1966 with an upset of previously undefeated and top-ranked Michigan State. He has a 151-74-8 and coaching record at UCLA and a 98-51-5 and mark in the Pac-12 play. And the Bruins won or shared five league titles during Donahue's tenure. He coached he coached future Hall of Famers and quarterbacks such as Troy Aikman, safety Kenny Easley, and offensive tackle Jonathan Ogden. Um, and he was inducted into the College uh, Football Hall of Fame in 2000. He joined the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame in 1997, and and the press box at the Rose Bowl was named for him in 2013. And I do have a quote here from UCLA current football coach, Chip Kelly. He said, and I quote, he epitomizes everything you strive to be as a coach and as a human being. Since the, since the moment I stepped on campus, he's been an incredible mentor and one of the most authentic, humble, and toughest men I ever met. He loved UCLA with all he had. I can't express how important his guidance and friendship has been for me. And after retiring from coaching, uh, Donahue worked for CBS, Fox, and NFL Network calling games. He served as the 49ers director of player personnel from 1999 and 2000 and as the team's general manager from 2001 to 2005. Uh, interesting fact that he turned down a chance to work to uh, coach the Dallas Cowboys, a move that would have reunited him with Aikman in 1998. And, um, and again, surviving at, uh, from his death is his uh, Andrea, his wife, his daughters, Nicole and Michelle and Jennifer, and his 10 grandchildren. Now, I'm going to pass it on to you, Nick, but before I do, the source of this article is uh, Associated Press. So your thoughts on uh, Terry Donahue uh, passing away at the age of 77? Um, well, first of all, before I say anything, I just want to take a moment of silence for Terry Donahue. Thank you. Um, but yeah, Mario, this is very sad news. You know, on the 4th of July, he had a two-year struggle with cancer. It's very unfortunate, you know. Um, and he's a UCLA legend, without a doubt. You know, and he, and, um, <clears throat> he was also a general manager of the 49ers. He's, he's coached Hall of Famers. He's brought up Hall of Famers. He's done it all, Mario. <clears throat> he's a winning coach. He, he's basically done it all. You know, you can't really ask, you can't really ask for much more out of a coach. You really can't, you know, and, you know, obviously he has a press boxing at them inside the Rose Bowl Stadium. Um, He's in the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame. He's in the College Hall of Fame, you know, so he's definitely a UCLA legend without a doubt. You know, and UCLA is uh, dearly going to miss him, you know. He's done – he did an amazing job throughout his career. And I do feel bad, you know, and, and when people die of cancer, it has a soft place in my heart because cancer runs – runs like crazy through my family. You know, I had a lot of family members die of cancer, you know, so it's, <clears throat> um, it's definitely, a, you know, it's definitely a, a one that has a soft place in my heart because I can definitely relate, you know, a lot of my family members have passed due to cancer and it's just really sad to see, you know, anybody, anybody passing is sad in general, but 
when people die of cancer, it, it's soft. I mean, it really is. So, um, yeah, there's really not much else for me to say, Mario. So with that being said, may uh, Terry uh, Donahue rest in peace. You know, condolences to his family, condolences to UCLA, and I'll pass it on to you. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, may Terry Donahue rest in peace. Obviously, when you think about the accomplishments that he has had with UCLA, it is absolutely unbelievable. Like, he has won the Rose Bowl. He's won the Rose Bowl so in 1983, 1984, and 1986 because the Rose Bowl is usually held at New Year's uh, and, and New Year's on that day. So he's won basically three Rose Bowl appearances. Again, you talk about, like, the, fir like the first, like, he that he has done. He was the first coach to, or I believe, yeah, the first to appear in a Rose Bowl game as a player, assistant coach, and a head coach. So, I mean, when you really look at it, Nate, he's done commentary. He's, again, he's worked in the NFL, not as a head coach, but he's worked in the NFL. He's coached Hall of Famers like Troy Aikman, Jonathan Ogden, and, um, and uh, trying to find the name. Hang on a second. And, uh, and Kenny Easley, excuse me. So he's coached Hall of Famers, Nate. Like, I mean, it's, when you really look at it, no doubt he's a Hall of Famer, not just in college football, but I think in football in general. He has the most wins, most Pac-12 wins than any other Pac-12 coach, which is 98. He has 150-plus wins as a college head coach. So, like, this just shows you now how, how great he was as a coach, you know? And it's unfortunate that he had a struggle with cancer. You know, cancer has affected millions around the world, you know? Cancer is it's one of the most deadliest diseases that there is. You know, it's a very scary disease. And it's unfortunate that he, again, that he died on the 4th of July, too. You know, that's one of the happiest days of the year. And the fact that he died on that day, you know, it's obviously very tragic. But overall, Nate, to his family, you know, to his wife, Andrea, to his daughters, Nicole, Michelle, and Jennifer, and his 10 grandchildren, again, condolences go out to you guys. May Terry Donahue rest in peace, especially to UCLA. My condolences go out to them as well and the Niners because he did work for them. Uh, may he rest in peace. 